We started out in 1965, so 50 years ago, actually as a, I don't want to say commercial press, we, because we did immediately plan to do books, small books obviously, by the, because they would only be handset type, printed letter press with original woodcuts. And um, it would be my work and also, um, but we did do commercial work, letter, um, letterheads, business cards, invitations, announcement, that kind of thing. Um, but always things that we designed. We never did the real, what you would call commercial work, that somebody came in with something here, print that for me. And I didn't want to do that kind of work in the first place. Um, so I'm concentrating largely on woodcuts. I had always done that in art school already because they are the same thing as um, uh, letterpress. It's the same um, method as uh, type. So they are the, the logical thing, the natural thing to combine in a book with type. And also, they are very simple. You know, if you don't have any equipment, you can do a, a woodcut on your kitchen table and, and ink it on a glass plate and rub it with a spoon. You don't really need no tool. You need a tool, a press, or some kind of setup, even, by, if, even if you do it by hand, to uh, register things and to print a successive number really in the same place. That is, you can't do it just so by hand. But if you have a print that's for framing, uh, it doesn't matter. For me, the printing of these things is half of the job. You know, uh, I know that um, you know people like Picasso and Braque and these well-known people. They would make one copy, the famous artist proof, and um, then give them to um, a printer and say, "Here, print me a thousand of those." It would be unthinkable for my work, you know, because also for that reason, actually, there are never two that I really like. Not even of the cards. It's a note paper is done in a special um, process. It's shown in, my, in the exhibition in the Wynwood Library, how it's done, where it says underlaying the, uh, the packing in the press. And so that some areas look uh, print light and some darker. And with that method, I print three color blocks, uh, cards from a single block. And uh, for that, you have to have a, a press. You could not never do that by hand. Ink tends to be confusing for people because most people uh, think of ink either of uh, cartridges and the computer, but you don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I've never opened one. I have no, no idea whether that's soup or gunk. And, uh, but you think of uh, writing ink, you know, this liquid. And so they wonder, how can I put that on? But printing ink is actually like, uh, like paint, like oil paint. It's about the consistency of oil paint. So you roll it out on, with a roller, put it on the block, and that, by the same token, you can dab that on with a finger. And all my uh, larger prints are actually hand, hand rubbed. Um, what kind of wood I use? And that's quite different on the large pieces you know, on the wall here, these landscapes. That's all the soft pine wood from the lumber yard, you know, just a big plank. And I like to, as you have seen, to use the grain and even knot holes. You know that what looks like the sun or the moon up there is actually not all, <laughs> which I thought was useful. And uh, no, but it's actually the nice thing doing the whole thing. You know, and if I'm tired of one, physically tired or mentally tired, there's always something else to do. People always ask me how long it takes, but. Um, so I don't have that sitting flesh, as they call it in German, to sit there a whole day and cut. I have to get up in between and do something else, and also get stiff and bored. The combination, that is all of it. I wouldn't want to sit all day cutting blocks. I wouldn't want to be all day printing, and I wouldn't be all, want all day the paperwork. You know, that's what I like, that it's a little bit of everything.